Welcome everybody, this is uh, GTM. Uh, today's video tutorial, we're going to be going over proper character model sheets on how to prep them up and prepare them for 3D Max. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and launch up Photoshop. And as you can see here, I have a, uh, a really good uh, character model sheet that was drawn. Um, I'm not sure who the artist is. I believe it, that may be his name, Anvil. Or this may that may be the name of the character itself. But the reason I chose this image is it had some kind of like, you know, somewhat looked like a Pixar quality type of character. And it had some, uh, you know, easy guidelines to follow. And plus the T-pose, uh, to me, is perfect. I mean, you know, you do have character model sheets to T-poses where, you know, the character's arms are completely in the T, which is fine. But as long as you got them out somewhat 45 degrees and your legs are slightly spread apart, then, you know, you definitely got a good model sheet. Uh, what you want to be aware of is model sheets or how you draw them. You don't want to draw them with the arms completely on the sides, close to the sides of the legs close together, just because of, uh, you know, rigging purposes, especially when you're going to rig the character with either Character Studio or some custom bones. And, you know, you'll probably run into problems. So it's always good to have your character's arms spread out and their feet. Alright, next thing you, uh, you definitely want to check is the alignment of the front and I believe this would be known as the right side of the character. Alright, what I normally do is um, I'll go to views and show my rulers here and I'll just take my move tool and go to my rulers right here and I'll just click and drag a guideline to see if they match. And I got head to head you know, it looks like the chin to chin meets. You know, eyes to eyes meet. You know, you even got nose to nose that meets and mouth to mouth. All right, so I'm going to go into, uh, you know, looks like we got shoulder to shoulder. And let's see, uh, chest to chest. You know, your elbows to elbows. Uh, waist to waist. See, we have, you know, crotch to crotch, knees to knee, and feet to feet. So as you can see, this is a perfectly laid out and drawn model sheet. It matches perfectly. Uh, this is how your model sheets should be all, you know, properly lined up. All right, the next step is uh, to grayscale out your images. And this is what uh, I normally do this to any kind of, you know, model reference sheet that I'm using. Uh, that's either hand-drawn or if I just find something simple online, you know, maybe a glass, a vase of some sort. Uh, a lot of images may be taken with white backgrounds. So uh, I tend to grayscale out my image just because if you're going to lay these down in 3D Max's viewports, um, you know, uh, you want you want the uh, you want the geometry to be able to show up against your reference images. So uh, what I normally do is um, I'll go ahead and take a layer. I'll create a layer. Let's go ahead and just call this uh, double click this, and we'll name him um, character model. Now this one will be known as just the you know gray layer or whatever. I always grayscale, you know, grayscale my images. So what I normally do is I'll click on the swatch here and um, just find a, a nice color gray. When I mean grayscale, I don't mean actually going down to the mode grayscale. I guess you could do it that way, but what I like to do is uh, I'll just take a gray image or a gray color. I'm sorry, and just click in that layer and then I'll go to my multiply and just uh, drop it down to you know your blend layers and drop it to multiply I should say all right and from there you know if you feel like it's too dark you can probably bring down the opacity or whatnot but I'm going to keep it you know at 100 percent and that's pretty much it and I'm going to save out a JPEG now your guides you know the guides I threw down here they're not going to show up when you save them up save out your image um, so you know if you just want to turn them off you get your views uh, you have to turn off your rulers or if you want to just click show extras and that will turn off your guides all right anyways I'm gonna go ahead and save this out 
and I'm gonna save this out as a JPEG. Oh, always, always use JPEGs. Don't use like PSD files or anything like that. Um, and you can call it whatever you wanna name it. So I'm just gonna call this uh, I call them Anvil Models. Hopefully, I can find out who the character artist was, and I'd like to maybe you know re-render this video. And um, I'm going to save this as a large image. That way, uh, I can probably link up his website or something. All right, once again, thank you. Um, thank you for watching this video. And like I said, this is how I normally grayscale all your images, uh, all your reference images.